Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. <laughs> and y'all are like, she's back. She's back. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Good morning, everybody. Um, Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm back. I know yesterday was a little bit different for us, but um, we, you know, we are back in a normal capacity, I guess, to a certain extent. I mean, today is more so of a freestyle than anything, so we're going to see where this whole thing go. But, um, yeah, man, uh, I'm feeling pretty good overall. Um, you know, I woke up this morning, I got on up, and I did my routine. Actually, I was up since like 1. You know how that be. I told y'all, when I wake up in the morning, it's like I can't go back to sleep. So, I woke up around 1. And then I didn't really go to sleep. And then, um, so those hours, I just was kind of up doing little online stuff and just, you know, I guess filling my mind with a lot of different information and and stuff like that. And then, um, at some point I started to just kind of reflect on, you know, on my life. And I just, you know, so I thought I was going to talk about a beautiful life because, you know, at the end of the day, I guess I just was reminded that, man, you know what, Lord, you have really blessed me. Like, um, at the end of the day, I know I've said it before a lot of times, but, um, for those of you guys that may be listening to me for the first time, this is new information to you that, um, you know, at the end of the day, I feel as if God has truly blessed me with a lot of the desires of my heart and everything like that. And I mean, he's definitely blessed me beyond the desires of my heart as well. And, you know, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for that. I know that there's a lot going on right now. I know that things are tense. Uh, the stakes are high, as they say. Um, a lot going on in our country. Um, <laughs> even with that information I shared with you all yesterday, that's a lot. That is a lot, y'all. Um, I hope that people um, were able to check it out, check out the information that I shared. Um but, you know, again, I'm not trying to get into all that <laughs> right now, per se. But, um, yeah, I hope that you all checked out that information. Just, again, if nothing else, inform yourself of the things that's going on um, and the things that are being said. And, um, yeah, so hopefully, you know, when or if these things come out and, and are brought to the light in a public manner, then you won't be uh, at least caught off guard. I put it like that. You won't be fully caught off guard. Um, so that was all yesterday. That's what yesterday was about. But today, you know, I woke up this morning again. Um, when four o'clock came around, I came on in here and I did my full routine this morning. So yeah, your girl did do my little faith fit workout. Um, I did post what the theme was. Unfortunately, again, like I said, after I've soaked my mind and, and jumped into the pool of what this random topic is today, uh, which I'll share with you guys in a moment, but, um, yeah, I don't remember what that is right now, but yeah, I enjoyed the Faith Fit workout this morning, um, so you guys check it out, um, you know, uh, you guys know that the discount's available to you, GSL, 10% off, um, bring God into your workout experience, invite him in, um, it's been beneficial to me. And so hopefully it helps and blesses you as well. So let's get into this. I know you guys saw the name of the topic. It's called Revelation Freestyle. I know y'all probably like, why she, here we go. Somebody's trying to talk about revelations in the end times with X, Y, and Z. Um, Now, I told you guys, I told you when I first got up this morning and as I was reflecting on my life and just, you know, everything God has done for me and everything, I I thought I was just going to talk about a beautiful life or something like that. Um... But the more I was kind of trying to find verses centered around that, um, I really wasn't getting any information. I was like, okay, well, Lord, you know, am I, am I wrong, right? You know, <laughs> and you want me to say something else today? Like, let me just listen, right? So I started to listen. And um, one of the first things that came into my heart and mind um, as I, I guess, opened my ears to to listen to God this morning was the song... Uh, I don't, unfortunately, I don't know the name of it right now, <laughs> but, well, look, look, shout out to my YouTube person, I'm gonna do this for you, y- y'all know what, um, I-, I know the way the song goes, I just don't know the name of it right now, um, so, but it goes, hallelujah, 
salvation and glory, honor and power. He is wonderful. So that song came into my mind um, after I said, I'm going, you know what, Lord, I'm going to listen. So, cause what had happened was, okay, let me, let me back up a bit. So I did my prayer and meditation, right? And then I started to, um, just sing a song that I wrote to God. Um, it's called always there. I haven't recorded it yet, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a song that has been in my, my heart and mind for years. And, um, hopefully I'll record one day that you all can hear, but that song was on my mind. And then I started to sing some other songs I've written for God while I was trying to find these verses. And so again, when I was trying to find the verses, I really wasn't seeing anything that correlated to what I thought I was going to talk about. I was like, oh, well, maybe I'm missing something. Let me stop real quick and just listen. And so at, when I did that, that's when that song that I just sung to you guys came to my mind. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Praises to God. You know what I mean? Like that sounds good. You know, so I'm starting to look up that or whatever. I looked up hallelujah, <laughs> like trying to figure out like, is this what we're talking about today? Just praising God? Like, what are we talking about? Um, <laughs> um, but eventually I was reminded of the other morning. So I didn't tell you guys this. Um, I can't remember if it was Sunday morning. It probably was Sunday morning. I think it was. Um, so early that morning. Oh, see, that was another thing. See, <laughs> yesterday just was all the way like you know what we gotta pause on the juice and get to some real stuff so I didn't even say this to y'all I wanted to say to y'all like when I don't like on Sundays when I don't do the juice I it's like I miss y'all you know what I'm saying like <laughs> um but on one hand I'm like I appreciate the break I appreciate like not having to get up or and it's not that I have to get up but not you know I, I appreciate not getting up and, and, and I guess going through the routine and stuff, at least for one day out of, out of the week. But at the same time, it's like I miss y'all or it just feels weird or I'll still wake up. I'll still be up. I just won't be getting up and doing all the things or to come and do the juice on a Sunday morning, you know. So basically, I think around that. So I woke up early. Like I told you guys, I tend to do. Sometimes I wake up and then I'm up um, until I can try to make myself go back to sleep. But anyway, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> um so yeah, I woke up that morning and I'm just laying in the bed or whatever. And, um, I can't remember every detail right now, but I know at some point as I was laying there, I just was like, Lord, I'm just going to clear my mind and let you talk to me right now type of vibe. Cause I was kind of almost feeling like I was going to get up and do a juice anyway, even though it was Sunday, but, uh, that's kind of the vibe I was feeling. But I'm like, let me just, I'm just going to open my mind and listen to you. Right. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I did that, next thing I know, I'm, you know, I'm like laying there, just kind of like, I'm going to clear my mind, Lord, let me, let me get, let me hear something from you today, you know, and well, people that are looking at me on the juice, they're seeing my expression, but y'all, y'all, y'all can't see me that those podcast people. So just a heads up, there are live recordings of this. <laughs> if you want to check them out on Facebook and YouTube, God, sex and love. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I'm laying there, right? And uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to hear from you, Lord. Like, I'm just going to clear my mind, just hear from God laying there. Next thing I know, sexual thoughts came to my mind. And it wasn't me and my husband. Or, like, it wasn't like I was seeing. You see, that going to sound bad. <laughs> it wasn't like I was, like, imagining myself or something like that. I can't remember exactly what I was imagining. But I just was like. A sexual thought came into my mind and I'm like, nah, nah, wait a minute. And then, then I'm like trying to clear that out and, and think again, you know? And then again, it's like some type of sexual thought that came into my mind. Unfortunately, I can't remember exactly the detail. I just, I don't think it was me and my husband. I think it was more like a, just, just my, like a really raunchy situation. <laughs> like whatever it was, it was really raunchy. And I just was like, man, I'm sitting here trying to hear from you, God. Like what is going on? Like my goodness right so then <laughs> it's not funny um actually it's not funny <laughs> but i mean it's funny to me now thinking about it um so then after that i'm like man you know because I'm, I'm not freaked out but i'm just like what is this like i'm here i am trying to clear my mind on a sunday morning think about god and here come raunchy nasty sexy thoughts or whatever case it is i'm like what is this and 
then the phrase whore of babylon came into my mind and i'm like oh lord <laughs> like what like because uh, so so yeah I, that was probably my reaction for real and so i grabbed my phone and <laughs> i started to look up whore of babylon so i'm starting to read some different things and um that kind of led me to the bible because i'm like let me just see what the bible says because you know people got their opinion about what they feel like stuff is man let me tell y'all i was kind of freaked out by reading uh, those verses about the whore of Babylon, it's like Revelation 17, um, because the more that I was reading it, the more that I was picturing America, <laughs> and that is, is a, like, if you read the things that are to happen to the whore of Babylon, uh, which is the representation of, yes, this I guess spiritual woman as well as a city um and if you think about that this could be America that is a scary thought um at least at first if you're reading it for the first time you know um and, and God hasn't given you any other clarity beyond the words you're reading that's a pretty scary thought um <laughs> in my humble opinion in my opinion um, so here I was Sunday morning sitting here reading that and thinking about America and just feeling like just, I don't know, like I, I don't remember everything I was feeling, um, at this moment. So I apologize, but, um, I just know it didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. And then to wake up Monday morning with the information that I did and then the information I had to share with you all yesterday, um, just saying just saying if if because i'm not gonna sit here and say that i know for sure that the whore babylon is america i'm not saying that i'm not saying that. people say that now people do say that but i'm not gonna say that because i i'm you know i i don't feel as if god has given me that like clarity to know exactly <laughs> um and everything like that and so I, I i talk about that now because after like i said i was opening my mind today and being like you know Lord, or opening my ears to be like, Lord, let me hear, you know, let me make sure I'm hearing correctly what you want me to talk about. And then as I um, started to, you know, I get that praise in my mind, like, hallelujah, that song, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm looking up hallelujah, X, Y, and Z. That leads me to revelations, y'all. And then ultimately, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, I don't have it in front of me right now. Because um, I didn't write down any verses today. Um, other than the Bible verse of today. So there you go. There's that. <laughs> but anywho, um, I'm reading or I, I was reading the, some different verses in regards to, you know, hallelujah and praise and all this. And it's leading me to the verses in regards to the praises that are happening in Revelations um, in the spirit realm and everything like that. So and and then it it leads me back to the whole Babylon. And I just was like, oh, Lord. So then <laughs> I was like, maybe I need to, if, if I was like, okay, Lord, if you want me to talk about the, the whore of Babylon, then obviously I need to read this chapter, <laughs> you know, or whatever the case is to, to hopefully not to say that I sit here. And again, I, I just pray in the morning and just ask God to talk through me. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I, I study every verse that I tell you. I, I read the verses. I usually read the verses. I write them down and then I come and read them to you guys and say whatever God wants me to say in that moment. Um, that's literally what I be doing on the juice. Um, but this morning, you know, not to be like, again, I, I'm just saying like when it comes to sitting here and trying to say that this means this, like, I, you know, I want to make sure I'm hearing from God and it's not just me. And you know what I'm saying? Telling y'all that my thoughts about what I think is about to happen. Like that ain't, you know, uh, my lane. I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe God will give me that gift. But right now, I mean, how can I say I feel like I have some type of gift in regards to, um, I'm not saying knowing stuff, but maybe, you know what I mean? Like I know my mom has dreams and stuff like that. And sometimes I have dreams or, um, I don't know if you want to say visions or something. Like I know visions sound bad, uh, cause people will pervert it. Um, <laughs> but no, like, you know, sometimes I don't think it's like, I'm not summoning anything. I, I put it like that. I'm not summoning a vision or something. It's just like sometimes in moments, either sometimes things feel like deja vu or sometimes, you know, I have a thought 
and then next thing I know it happens or something and it's like like whoa or sometimes I say I do this a lot with my husband like you gonna listen to me sometimes because some of the stuff I be saying you know I be trying to say stuff ahead of time and then boom here we go you know uh experiencing it and it's like but even with myself like sometimes you know you know you'll have that inkling in your heart maybe God just tell you things sometimes he just lets you know some things sometimes and I feel like I have that that gift but um but anyway you know, um, so the whore Babylon. <laughs> so yeah, when I was, um, I was thinking to myself that I needed to read that chapter or read the 17th chapter in its fully, you know, in its entirety and everything like that to figure out what it was that God wanted me to share with you all about the whore Babylon. Right. So I, I go to the 17th chapter or, and, and it's, it didn't really make sense. Like it was starting in a place where it was like in the middle of something, you know, you know how sometimes in a book or something like that, it's like in the middle. It was like that. So when I went to 17, it was like in the middle of something. So I was like, well, let me go to 16. Once again, in the middle of something, I keep going back, going back, going back. I'm like, Lord, where you want me to start? I'm keep going back. Like he said, like, go, go back, go back, go back. And then guess where I end up y'all revelations one. I'm like, man, golly, that one in 17, you want me to read all that? Like, man, what's happening here? <laughs> That's going to be a long juice. <laughs> you want me to write down all those verses? Um, <laughs> um, but this is what I end up doing, y'all. And, I, and this is what I'm going to challenge you all to do, uh, to go deeper today. Because um, I feel like it did something with me. Um, now, I, I will say that I haven't read it all yet but this morning i did read between 1 and 12 of revelation and what i did was i read it aloud yeah i read it out loud um so i'm just sitting i was yeah i was just sitting here and i was reading it um out loud and it's very interesting taking it in out loud i mean you you can receive it by by reading it too, you know, but to hear it, hearing the words out loud is, is interesting. Um, you know, I'm already somebody that when I read, I kind of imagine and envision whatever I'm reading. Um, you know, sometimes when I dream, <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a movie in my dreams or when I'm dreaming, um, stuff like that. So same thing when I'm reading and stuff. And so, um, yeah, I, I encourage you, us all to do that. I'm, I'm going to try to finish it as well. I'm going to finish that challenge today at the Lord's will as well. I, I got up to 12 and then I was like, oh, it's, it's time for the juice. Yeah. Um, but I, I at least finished 11 before I, and then I stopped there. So I'll be starting back up at 12. And then the whole situation about the horror of Babylon is in 17 or whatever. But um, yeah, that is the challenge for today, y'all. Go deeper, read Revelations, and if you can, read it out loud. Um, see what that do for you. I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, I know I shared back in the day on YouTube when I when I did my challenge of reading the entire Bible, and I shared my review of that Bible that I read. Um, you know, and I was talking about how Revelations was affecting me by reading it, and you know, thinking about all the things that is to happen. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> um, one of the main concerns, I don't know if it's just for me or for Christians in particular, is this whole thing about the rapture. Um, you know, the, there's a lot of people that believe different things. Some people believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. Some believe in the mid. And some believe that, you know, you we're not going to get raptured until after. Um... You know, I'm praying that it's pre-trib, you know, because uh, uh, with all the horrific things that sound, you know, that Revelation um, says, it, you know, it's like, you, it don't seem like you really want to be around for that, honestly. Like, it don't really seem like you want to be around for that at all. Um, but at the same time, too, now, now this is, now this might be a scary thought, <laughs> but sometimes I'll be honest and say that I've wondered, are we already in this? tribulation period with some of the stuff that's going on like i mean now because here's the thing 
I'm not going to say we are. I don't know. I'm just saying that I've wondered. I've wondered this uh, as a Christian and, you know, as somebody living here on earth and aware of what the Bible says about the tribulation and everything like that. Um, you know, I wonder sometimes, are we in it? Because, um, well, I mean, because all the crazy stuff that's happening. But see, I, I think... Well, there's a couple of things that I guess I want to remind us of uh, of today. Um, but I, I'm not going to sit here. And, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what God says through me. But basically, one thing I want to remind us of is like, you know, God is outside of time. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing that I had to remind myself of or that I want to say my husband reminded me of when, some years ago when we, when we were talking. And I, it just put it into a different perspective for me thinking about time and knowing that God really doesn't have any, like time doesn't really mean much to God because he's outside of time. Uh, so who say that we're not, you know what I mean? I don't know. He, I don't know. You know what I mean? So that's one thing. And then two, um, now the descriptions of some of them woes, yeah, if you, I'm talking about the W O E's W O E S S. um, th- like, on one hand, it's like, you know, are we going to, because I mean, okay, Here, here's the thing. I know uh, you will see a lot out there about other dimensions and other planes and spiritual realms and all these things. And I think there's some truth to, to all of that in, based on Bible um, and everything like that. Um, so... <laughs> Um, with that being said, it's like, you know, when it comes to these creatures and all these things, it's like, on one hand, they're kind of hard to fathom, right? Like, if you sit here, you're, you're reading about a creature that has the head of a man, uh, six wings, and eyes all over. Um, you know, that that's a that's strange you know what I mean like that's a strange thought you know if you try to imagine that in your mind um that reminds me of my mom I know that's gonna sound so crazy like no it reminds me of my mom because she had an artist um draw uh the description of Jesus with well with you know with the, the the white hair the flames of fire the sword like she had an artist draw that depiction uh based on like what he read you know and she said it scared her when she saw it. Um, and that's the thing, like, you know, a lot, there's a lot of accounts in the Bible when, you know, certain things are seen, you know, people get scared, whatever the case is. And so, um, yeah, so, so when it comes to the woes and stuff, it's like, man, you know, <laughs> it's like, what, what was that description? Something like, something like, uh, oh, um, Something that's supposed to have the, the not the strength, but the uh, power of a scorpion and just uh, attacking people for five months. Like, like, and so that's what I'm saying. Is it going to be a big old scorpion thing or is it going to, you know what I mean? Like, or is this just a spiritual description of something physical, something else physical that we see? You know what I mean? I don't know about all that, but either way. I don't want to be here for that. I don't want to be one of them sealed people. You know what I mean? That got my God seal on me. Not that other stuff. I want God seal on me in my forehead. <laughs> you know, especially during them times. Um, and that that's another thing too. Because I'm like, because it was saying things about the remnant. And I'm over here like, man. <laughs> and I had paused everything. I'm like, wait a minute, Lord. So wait a minute. When you said remnant, what you mean? Like, you mean, you mean us? Like, we still here for that? Like, I, wait. Because... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know um, which way it's going to be, but I'm just, I'm just saying like, um, regardless, right. We just need to be ready as they say. And, um, and the way to be ready is to accept Christ y'all, you know, accept him as our Lord and savior, get into this Bible, read it, get to know it for yourself. And, um, you know, I encourage us all to do that. Cause again, like, if, Hey, do the challenge y'all. Read Revelations out loud, and y'all tell me if you if you cool with the idea of being here around here for that stuff without the seal of God on your forehead. 
Now, if you're cool with that, cool. You know what I mean? Like, that. that's you, your life. You know what I'm saying? You're free to do whatever you want to do. Um, but, you know, if you're not cool with it, then go ahead and get right with God, as they say. Because I'm a... Uh, that that's the hope for us the lamb that was slain for us which is jesus and so uh that's the hope y'all like we want to have one of them white robes that was you know we they, they say that the, the, the robes got uh washed in jesus blood that's why they white <laughs> you know um yeah i want to be one of them people um because ah, man listen five months of scorpion torture or whatever that is and then yo man that one <laughs> What is it? The the second woe, where they like the angel had the feet in the water and on the land, and then he was getting ready to write what the angel said, and, and they was like, no, nah, no, nah, don't write what he said. Leave that part out. Like, oh no, what is he? What did he say? Like, <laughs> what did he say? Man, listen, hold on. All right, y'all y'all want to be out here playing these games with this with this stuff in the spirit realm and stuff? Okay. <laughs> Nah, not me. I think I'm I'm good. The the spirit what I need is is uh, you know, the spirit that God has put within me. Um and you know, his spirit and everything like that. But I'm gonna um, Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's all man. Uh, that that is all. Um I just wanted to share with you all, you know, that experience and, and what happened this morning and like I said, I'm gonna be doing the challenge too, so I'm not just putting it out here and being like, Y'all do it. No. I'm gonna do my best to finish reading 12 through when whenever it finished and prayerfully I'll be reading it out loud like I did um one through um 11 and then yeah that that is that now the bible verse of today ended up being rather simple this morning it is Matthew 6 11 it says give us this day our daily bread that is the bible verse of today friends so I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Well, I think that was good old positive juice. What y'all think? <laughs> look, I think I'm going to ruin it because... Like what came to my mind like right before I was getting ready to click out is uh, what tomorrow is, which is the 6th, which is this day that everybody's been looking forward to, especially here in America. Um, I'm just going to pray, y'all. You know, again, praying that God's will be done uh, and all these things, you know. Um, I'm thankful that he's given me peace of mind and um, I guess even more understanding about certain things. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, I know yesterday, I know I came on here a little down. So I know, shout out to my YouTube, you know, my, my guy over there in Australia, Ewan, <laughs> shout out to you, man. Um, here, 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 all the smiles. <laughs> um, you had all the smiles today. <laughs> no, but, um. Yeah, I know all things are going to work together for the good of those that love God. So I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, you know, we'll see. I, <laughs> I said, I may look, might try to look, uh, have my wine and popcorn. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> yeah, how about you? Yeah, how about you all? What y'all going to do about all this? Um, I mean, either way, though, you know. Uh, God is in control, and, you know, there's, I'm not say bigger concerns, but kind of, it's kind of bigger concerns in regards to, you know, your soul and your well-being. Um, you could focus on that part, um, <laughs> and just know when it comes to this other stuff, I mean, people going to have to work out their own soul salvation, you know, and these evil people that are doing evil things, you know. God will take care of them, you know. Um, but all right, y'all. I won't be long your time. I'm going to go ahead and let you go because y'all know. Y'all know me now. I'll sit here and talk to you. <laughs> so I'll let you go. Um, but, yeah, I hope y'all got – hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And I hope that you are encouraged and inspired. And um, I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow at the Lord's will. Bye-bye.